Leading off will be the catalyst and team MVP, the sophomore from Mims, Florida, Zeke DeVos. He'll hit from the right side against the lefty, Monica, and we are underway. First pitch, a strike on the outside part of the plate. Count 0-1 to Zeke DeVos. Jacksonville in their home whites, white tops and white pants with green lettering. They have green hats with a yellow brim and the interlocking JU front and center. Here's the 0-1 to DeVos. He takes a changeup for a strike in the outer part of the plate. Count quickly 0-2. Hurricanes wearing their road orange jerseys with white letters and white numbers, white pants, with the white hat with the U front and center with the green brim. DeVos back in the box. Riding an eight-game hitting streak is Zeke. Here's the 0-2, and that ball is grounded to the third baseman, Lehan. Throws across the diamond in time for the 5-3 put out. Three pitches, one out to start this game. Right there, you saw DeVos. He took the first two pitches from Malka. Just trying to get an idea of what the lefty can throw. He's trying to get the pitch count up early. You know, weak ground ball to third base, easy play for Lee Haynes. This will bring up Nathan Melendrez, hitting 324 in the season with two dingers and 24 RBI in this righty-lefty matchup. Nathan had a leadoff double in the top of the ninth yesterday, but was stranded at second base after the three, four, and five hitters could not could not knock Nathan in and give the Hurricanes a lead in the ninth that they would later lose in the bottom of the ninth. First pitch is a ball high, 1-0. Second pitch on its way. It's a strike pour down the middle. Sticks across the board. One ball, one strike, one out. No score. Top of the first inning between the visiting Hurricanes and the homestanding Dolphins. DeVos grounded out to third to start this one. Here's the pitch to Nathan. And that ball is hit into shallow right field. Coming in as the right fielder. He's going to make a basket catch. Nice play by Esterlin Perozo. A running basket catch. Two away, six pitches, two outs. Malika working quickly. Nate just got the end of the bat on that one. Almost was able to find the hole in between second and right field, but Peroza got a good break on that one for the second out here in the first. This will be Ron, This will bring up Ronnie Rodriguez, who had a big RBI single yesterday to tie the game up at four. First pitch, Ronnie sees his strike down Broadway count 0-1. He's hitting 306 with 12 home runs and 42 RBI. Jacksonville coming in with a 37 and 23 record. Miami coming in with a 37 and 22 record. That's a ball inside. Scoots Ronnie out of the way. Count one and one. Canes are down the thir- first baseline. Jacksonville is down the third baseline. Very sparse crowd here. Not much energy and atmosphere at all. That's because maybe the heat's sucking the life out of a lot of fans. That's a ball way outside. Count two and one to our ride. Two outs, nobody on. Top of the first, no score. Infield playing back. Malika rocks, fires the 2 1 way outside, count 3 and 1 to Ronnie Rodriguez. Got to be sitting dead red for a fastball right here. Ronnie had two big home runs in the ACC tournament over the Blue Monster. Leads the team with 12 dongs. Swing and a miss. Chases some high cheddar right there by Malika. Now the count is full, 3 and 2. Rodriguez is going to swing at a fastball no matter where that one was. He just got overmatched the fastball up high. This will be a payoff pitch from Malika, working with Swenson, who started 110 of the last 116 games behind the dish. And Ronnie lays off that breaking ball for a full count walk. This will bring up Harold Martinez with two outs here in the top of the first inning. H. Marty's, he's been pretty pretty near awful here in Gainesville, only being able to pick up a couple sparse hits in over 45 at-bats. Yeah, Harold Martinez, 8 for 47, lifetime here in Gainesville. Not a very good average. He had a strikeout looking last night in the top of the ninth inning, and he stranded Nathan Melendrez at second base. The Canes' defense has been real spotty, and Ronnie Rodriguez is going. It's a ball up and away. The throw down to second, not in time. Ronnie Rodriguez steals successfully. That is just the... Fifth stolen base for our ride this year. We mentioned Coach Morris wants to be aggressive. You want to get a lead early, let B-Rad settle down. B-Rad coming off a shaky outing against UNC nine days ago in the ACC tournament when he threw five innings and allowed five runs. Here's the 1-0 to Martinez with a runner on second, no score, top of the first. He takes a strike all the way. Count one and one to H-Mart, the six foot three, 203 pounder from Miami, Florida. A graduate of Braddock Senior High. Tuesday will be, be a big day for H Mart as the 2011 Major League Draft, the second day is. And H Mart fouls that one right to Joe Mercadante, the third base coach. Nice snag by Merck. 
a former UF grad. So he sees a nice ovation from some of the UF fans that are sticking this one out. It is hot, humid, and muggy. We are sweating outside here. Alfred A. McKeithen Stadium, 96 degrees, game time temperature. Wow. And I'm wearing khaki pants and dress shoes. Mistake. Again. Again and again. Third time I've done this. It's a breaking ball way high. Deuces are wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Ronnie is on second base. No score, top of the first inning. It's great to be alongside Mike Weissman. I am Justin Antwell. It's an elimination game between Miami and Jacksonville. Miami owns the all-time series between JU, 80-19, so they've had JU's number. And Coach Morris is 29-6 all-time against the Dolphins. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. H. Mart crowds the plate. Scoots out of the way on that fastball inside. Now the count is full 3-2, and two, and that goes over the head of Malika. Poor throw by Swenson. Nice backup by the second baseman, Ratliff, to keep Ronnie Rodriguez at bay at second. It'll be a payoff pitch to H. Mart right now. 3-2 with two outs. Runner on second. Merck will be aggressive. Anything hits the outfield should plate Ronnie Rodriguez. All these JU outfielders have great arms, especially Murphy out on left, who has 11 outfield assists. And that ball is hit out to Murphy in left. Ronnie Rodriguez is going to round third. Here's going to be the play at the plate. Murphy's throw right to the catcher, and he's out. Ronnie Rodriguez is nailed. The 12th outfield assist for Jonathan Murphy. We called it. Joe Mercadante is going to be aggressive. I don't mind the play right there, but he was out by a couple feet. And we are through one half inning of play. Ronnie has nailed the plate on the Herald single. We're coming to the bottom of the first inning. No score between the Hurricanes and the Dolphins. Keep it locked to the voice.